Pete Lomas. Great to see you again. Yep. On our stand here at Electronic, it's absolutely wonderful. It's so busy, it's unbelievable. Raspberry Pi, you remember the foundation. You were instrumental in, uh, in bringing this little device to market. It really is, you know, the size of a, of a credit card. It's un unbelievable. Um, just tell us a little bit about the journey and, and how, we, how we're here and some of these other devices and what, what, we, what we're doing going forward. Well, I mean, it's certainly been a roller coaster. I mean, from when uh, we met before, when we were just launching Raspberry Pi and we were looking at um, a couple of hundred thousand expressions of interest. Of course, yeah. now they've been converted into real orders, have been delivered to people. And I think the really fantastic thing is what they're doing with them. Yes, absolutely. The inventiveness that the community has shown of what you can do with a Raspberry Pi yes. is absolutely brilliant. And, you know, it's really, I think now it's sort of transgressed from being the foundation and the Raspberry Pi to the community and the Raspberry Pi. Yes. They've really, you know, they're really responsible for its success. And I really can't thank them enough for the efforts that people have put in to try and get it out there. No, absolutely. So, so the Element 14 community and the Raspberry Pi communities have been pretty active. Um, have you seen any unusual applications or what's it, what are the, probably the most unusual one you've seen? Uh, I don't think I could separate one application. I mean, you know, we've had pies in space. Yes. Um, and that, those have been phenomenal. I mean, there was one just recently. And I, I haven't managed to see the footage yet of this um, grape exploding, but I'm sure it does at <laughs> is it 84,000 feet. I mean, it's brilliant. And it's, but it's a community effort. Yeah. Um, where they've got a group of people together to do something. Yeah. And of course, the fantastic raspberry jams that are now springing up all over the place, where people are coming together, showing off what they've done. Yeah. I mean, I think that's a fantastic aspect of Raspberry Pi, where people say, look, I've done this. And people actually say, wow, yeah, show me how you did it. Yeah. How does that work? And where can I get, can you make me one? Can, and there's sort of like a, a trading community as well. Yeah. And so what I see is just a fantastic ecosystem that's passionate about engineering both software and hardware. I mean, we call it hacking, and some people turn the nose up when we say that, but we sort of, you know, it's what it is. We're actually bending, twisting, making new things out of the, of the things that we've got there. And of course, the other thing that's happened with the ecosystem, it's also got a commercial community that's brought all the add-on boards. Absolutely. And of course, you've been instrumental in bringing two of the of those to, to market recently. Yeah, so absolutely. So I was gonna say, it never it never fails to amaze me when I plug this board into just simply an HDMI monitor and networks, keyboard and mouse, the thing fires up and you've got a real computer working in front of you. But absolutely, um, just recently we've been adding new boards. So do you wanna just give us a little tour around what we've got here in front of us? Well, I mean, here we've got the uh, the famous GERT board that's yeah. had quite a lot of press coverage. The beauty about this is it really is um, designed for the educational community. You actually have to do some work to get it to go. Yes. And that's always been a focus of what we do inside, you know, inside the foundation, is you don't want it to be completely out of the box start, because that is really the antithesis of what we're trying to do. Yes. We're trying to get people involved, engaged, and actually doing it for themselves. Yes, yeah, so, so really getting under the cover and understanding yeah. how the code works. So in this well, case, this is much more about electronics, isn't it? Because, yes, uh, absolutely. Yeah. And, and hooking real world articles up like stepper motors, and my, you know, microphones. Yes. And I think Gert's got an example today on the stand. He has indeed, of yes. That. Yeah. Um, the Pi Face is a, is a subtly different in that it has um, some buttons and some LEDs that you can get working almost straight away yes. from scratch and it gives you a much more gentle introduction yeah. to the actual programming side of it but again it's infinitely extensible yes. and that's the thing about that we've realized with Pi really is that people can start with something simple and they can build and build and build and build on it. Absolutely. What I like about the Pi Face is that, you know, really, to get started, you know, look at that, the form factor's great, isn't it? It just fits right on top of the Raspberry Pi. Uh, once you've got the code unpacked, you can start firing the code up. You begin to use this straight away, can't you? Well, that's right. I mean, there's a lot, you know, there's a lot of value in doing things incrementally. Yes. Being able to get to a point very quickly yes. where it actually does something 
and then expanding from that point. And that's certainly a key theme of, of educational aims, is to give some stepwise incremental development of what you're trying to do. Yes. So you're not trying to go a long way before anything happens. So anything that you see coming along the way, um, Pete, going forward? Well, obviously we've got the, the camera on the way, that's a, yes. a key feature. But I think for me, the thing that's really exciting me is that we, we're talking in sort of our commercial environments about the Internet of Things. Yes. And how we're going to ultimately connect the world so that every, almost every automated product of any type has its own MAC address, yes. an IP address, and you can actually communicate with it. Yeah. Which, to some degree, I think, Pi is going to be instrumental in our community area because it makes a great platform for the Ethernet out and connecting to the real world yeah. with one of the Shields or the Pi Face or the GERT board or one of the many other products that are coming to market yeah. to actually be able to communicate the environment. Yeah. So you can almost imagine schools having weather stations that all interact with each other so they can all see each other's data. Yeah. And of course we've got the, the bird box project, yeah. looking at bird migration, looking at activity of birds. And I can see almost endless opportunities to do that sort of thing with Raspberry Pi. Yeah. And it's great to be involved in it. No, that's a really great vision. I uh, entirely agree with you. I think that's, uh, you know, the Internet of Things is absolutely what, uh, what we're seeing. Um, so, exciting times ahead for, uh, for GERT board, for Pi Face, for the new accessories that are coming along. Um, Pete, thanks very much for your time. I really appreciate it. Uh, I think we've got a great show here today uh, and the next few days. No, it's a good show and I hope busy. people are going to be able to get along and come and have a look at the stand and see some of the things that are on here yeah because the other thing that I'm you know I look forward to is that people who are interested in electronics it's there isn't isn't just pie yeah there's a multitude of electronics out there that you can get and you can modify you can use and really if anything actually contributes to convincing people that they ought to be in electronic engineering as a career then that's great for me absolutely that's me where too. I started and that's where I want to hope that other people are going to follow yeah Great. Thanks, Pete. Thanks, Mike. You're welcome. Thanks for your time. Cheers. Appreciate it.